During a fire, everyone can see the hazard. They can see the flames, they can see the smoke. But what about after the fire? After the fire, it's not clear when it's safe to enter. Sadly, particulate hazards are also a big challenge for fire investigators or anyone working around a fire building after the fire. My name is Jeff Pauley. I'm the chairman of the Health and Safety Committee for the International Association of Arson Investigators. One of the big problems that exists today for fire investigators is cancer. The average fire investigator is at more fire scenes than the average firefighter for a longer period of time and sadly, oftentimes less well protected from the gases, the vapors, the particulates that persist in the post-fire environment. So our study is focusing on exposures that fire investigators may have while doing their job. Immediately after a fire, when a investigator may come in and look at the scene while it is still what might be called a hot B scene. So within a couple hours of after the fire has been suppressed. We're also interested in what happens afterwards when we have investigators that might come back one day later three days later, or up to five days after the fire has been suppressed. There's different health and safety risks that might face our fire investigators. It's pretty common after a fire has been suppressed that we'll have 100 nanometer scale particulate that gets in the air. These are really important because they can get really deep into the airway and can cause known health concerns. We're gonna measure fibers that are in the air from the carpet as well as fiberglass insulation that might come down during the firefight these things are really interesting because we would expect them to be high immediately post fire suppression. But what happens multiple days afterwards when an investigator will come and dig out the scene? It may seem like there's no dust, there's no particulate in the air, but as soon as we disturb the scene in order to further investigate, that can get kicked back up into the air. We're also very interested in contaminant might be in the vapor phase or gas phase. Some very important uh, compounds such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs, volatile organic compounds, VOCs, and aldehydes are things that can be off-gassed by the fires. Particulate matter in the air can have a wide range of implications for all those different health concerns. So we want to measure both the solid phase and the gas phase so we can have as much of an understanding of these different health impacts. And again, so we can help the fire investigators to understand how they can protect themselves.